hey hello guys so welcome back to hackers colony once again and this is azar so guys today in this video i'm gonna show you how to install kali linux in android thermux without root so guys this trick is really working what you need to do guys simply follow the video from start to end and if you are new to the channel do like subscribe and click on bell icon for more ethical hacking videos and guys if you want to learn ethical hacking do join our whatsapp telegram facebook uh, group link is given in the description of the video so do check it out so let's get started all right guys so to install linux first of all you must have these two applications in your android phone that is number one is thermux number two is vnc server so you can download this vnc viewer from play store or ios app store and the thermux you can download from f droid and if you don't know how to download it i have given a description of the video how to install thermux all right so let's get started so first of all we'll open up thermux once you open thermux you have to run the first command that is apt update and an apt upgrade and you, you have to click on enter once you click on enter it will automatically update and upgrade all the packages that you have on your thermux then you have to go for the next command that is pkg install git and then hit on enter all right once it's done you have to go for the next command that is pkg install python p-y-t-h-o-n and then hit on enter now once the python is installed you have to go for the next command that's pkg install python 3 hit on enter all right once it's done you have to go for the next command that is pip install request you have to make it sure that the request spelling ends with s okay request all right then hit on enter and wait for a while once it's done you have to go for the next command that is git clone so guys uh make it sure while typing git clone the spelling should be in lowercase git 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 space c l o n e space and paste the link and i've given the git clone link in the description of the video kindly check it out from there and then hit on enter so guys uh, in your case it might take a minute or two so you have to have some patience but uh, just to make the video a little bit short i have already installed this one so you can see kali uh, load already uh, already exists and it's an empty directory but in your case it will take a minute or two so you need to have some patience then go for the next one that is ls then go for the next one that is cd kali load then hit on enter once done then go for the next one that is ls then you have to go for the next one that is a uh, python 3 space kali hyphen load dot py and then hit on enter now once you're done with this you will have these options uh, two options one that is install kali linux number two you have uh, to uninstall so since we're installing it we'll uh, type here one and then hit on enter now once you hit on enter guys it might take a minute or two depending on your internet connection so you need to have some patience all right all right now uh, in, in a little bit while in a little while you'll be able to see this option do you want to inst uh, install desktop environment so if you just want this uh, linux in your thermox only without any environment you can just type n but i want in my environment i want the desktop environment so i'll type y and hit on enter okay it totally depends on you now once you hit on enter you can see run this command uh, in the linux below so you need to copy this one from wget till this one as it copy and then below that you see lo root local host you have to paste it over here then hit on enter once you hit on enter you have to wait for a while it might take a minute or two depending on your internet connection the internet speed the wi-fi or uh, data connection whichever you're using it so you need to have some patience it might it will take a minute okay so you need to have some patience now uh, guys in the meantime if you're watching the video till here guys please subscribe and please click on bell icon and do join our group link is given in the description of the video so it's almost going to be done i'm i'm not uh, making the video uh, video fast forward i'm just uh, like sitting over here and then like you know just waiting for this to be complete so once you can see guys here it's been installed now you'll be able to see at the end uh, root localhost when you see this one you need to look above okay so here you can see all the options are given connect to this address will open a window to your desktop environment now what you, what we're going to do right now you can see to kill vnc to start the vnc server you need to type vnc server hyphen start to stop the vnc server you have to type vnc server hyphen stop all right so now what we're going to do right now you can see uh starting applications specified vn server right so what you do guys simply uh, you need to minimize it and you will be able to see the vnc server the vnc server will be started at this one so what you do guys you simply copy this one copy it here and then you need to open this vnc viewer app which you have downloaded from the play store or might be from the app store then you see the address over here paste it over here now you can give a name whatever name you want so i'm just giving here kali linux okay you can give whatever name you want then click on create once you click on create now you can be able to see connect you have to click on connect all right so you can see it's connecting over here now you can see unencrypted connections so you don't need to do anything simply click on okay all right 
now it is asking for a password so i've already set the password in, in your case if you have set the password while uh, installing it they will ask you for a password if you want to if you have set that password you have to type that one and if you haven't set the password then not this one uh, the vnc server won't ask you for a password then you have to after typing the password click on continue all right now you can see the vn service already in my uh, in my uh, linux you can see right so i'm going to rotate rotate the system so it will be easier for you to see now you can see all right so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. You can see you can zoom it, zoom out, all right? It's gonna be very simple. For keyboard, you can see to the left side, here is this. You can just click on it and then you can type anything. If you want a terminal, you can see you can bring the mouse here below that. You can click on it and you can see the terminal will come up. You can see the terminals here. You can type whatever you want. Now to type it, you have to click on the you know, keyboard. You can see, <clears throat> just click on the keyboard. Keyboard will come up, APT, whatever you wanna type, okay? All right, so it's gonna be like this. Now to close this one, see, everything's available. You can just check it on your own. If you have any problem, you can reach me on my, uh, you can comment and I'll be able to help you or you can join my group. I'll be able to, I'll be more than happy to help you on that, okay? Now see, once you're done, simply need to click on this and you can see, disconnect, click on disconnect. Now once you click on disconnect, you can see close here then you need to open your thermox one more time and here you need to type here to stop okay it's still running so you just copy this one and then simply paste over here and then hit on enter all right you can see it's localhost the process id has been closed now the linux has been closed now guys this is the video till now so guys if you have liked the video guys do like subscribe comment and click on the bell icon for more updates so guys thank you so much for watching the video guys see you in the next video guys bye bye